Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Northern Electric 3-slot payphone. This is a QSD3A. This is Fred's equipment from PA and we're going to be doing a conversion on this telephone. We want to install a modular port at the center of the backboard of this telephone so Fred can go ahead and install this telephone and bring in any line cord, any length, any color he chooses and it makes for a simple easy plug-and-play connection. We're also going to be installing a bell in this telephone. We also want to rewire this telephone the way we want it wired to work the way we want it to work. Now he has his keys to this telephone so that's a plus. We also want to go through the transmitter, the receiver, the hook switch. We want to go through our rotary. We want to make sure that that's oiled, cleaned, and adjusted. We want to go through our coin validator. We want to make sure that our change is falling down through the coin validator into the cash box. So we have a lot of work that we need to start on here. And we've already started on this telephone a little bit earlier. And we want to go ahead and start finishing up some of the things that we need to install and some of the rewiring and some of the troubleshooting that we need to do. So we're going to go ahead and take a short break. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this telephone. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And we are in the middle of the process of working on the rotary. And so we've got the rotary removed from the front cover. And I want to give you a look at the rotary on the inside. We have a cover here, and I want to remove that. And that shows you the inside workings of the rotary if you've never seen the inside. I want to go ahead and try to dial here. And that kind of gives you a look at how that works. We want to oil, clean, and adjust this rotary. And then we're going to reinstall it into the front cover. We want to start working on our coin validator. We want to make sure all of our coins are falling through that validator and into the cash box area. We're going to work on some other issues, and then we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this three-slot payphone. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this three slot payphone. And we're gonna run through a little bit about what went on. We went ahead and installed our modular port at the back of this telephone so that Fred can simply walk up to this telephone and plug any line cord, any length, any color into the modular port and it makes for a simple, clean, easy connection. Plug and play. We also went through the coin validator, made sure our coins were falling through the coin validator and into the cash box. We also went through the rotary that was oiled, cleaned, and adjusted. We went through the wiring. We rewired this telephone the way we wanted it wired to work the way we wanted it to work. We also went through the transmitter, the receiver. We went through the cash box to make sure that the latch was working properly. And so we basically went through the whole telephone. We also installed a bell and a bell circuit. And we went through the hook switch. So now what we want to do is we want to start our final checks. And we have our front door to the vault on the side of the telephone because we want to show you that 
when the money drops through how to work the cash box for those that might not know how to latch the latch on the cash box so we're going to use a quarter and that's going to gong one time sometimes you can pick that up on the video and sometimes it doesn't we want to use a dime that's going to ring the bell twice we want to use a nickel that's going to ring the bell once one more quarter a dime and one last nickel okay so now what we can do is we can pull our cash box out okay now that we have removed our cash box we want to show you how that works we have our money inside and we want to flip our latch now these lids do come off all you have to do is basically they're hinged and they're made to come off that was so you could just go ahead and retrieve your money and now Fred is getting rich with uh, bubblegum money here so we'll go ahead and pour the change out we'll set that to the side now there's a latch on this lid and what we want to do is we want to relatch it because every time you install this cash box into the unit what's going to happen is this latch has to be latched so you want to turn it clockwise and we can just put it back on now so what happens is when this cash box goes back into the unit it catches this little lever here and I want to give you a look at that and that opens the trap door and once the unit is pulled out the trap door closes and you can no longer access the cash box because when these were in route and out in the public what would happen is they would have a little seal here and they would either have to replace the cash box with another uh, you know box and take the cash box in and then let someone empty it or they would do it right there and they knew no one had uh, messed with the unit or gotten into the telephone and stole the money as long as that little seal was still on there now I'm sure in some routes they didn't uh, they didn't put a seal on the cash box and uh, there was never any issue but they did in some routes have a seal and they even made them take it back to the office and then they could open it there and make sure there was no theft of money so it takes a little bit getting used to using a cash box when you reinstall these back into the payphone itself sometimes it can be a little difficult because you got to remember to latch the latch and this box will not fit back into that payphone until the latch is uh, been you know clicked and then everything is set to go so I'm basically just gonna set the money box to the side because we want to start our final checks okay we're gonna start our final checks you're gonna notice here that we have our pickup taped to the receiver and that's an amplified pickup and when we remove the receiver from the hook switch that's how we show you the audio through the receiver or through the handset and it is amplified so sometimes it might bring in a little extra amplified noise but uh, for the most part we use that for troubleshooting and our checkouts and so basically it's so you can hear the audio from the receiver the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and start our ring cycle so we'll use the analyzer and we'll ring the unit we're gonna let that go a few times since this telephone didn't have a bell I'm gonna let it go one more time we'll turn our amplifier on and we'll give you some dial tone now we want to walk through our numbers if you watch the analyzer you'll watch the numbers roll by I'm going to end in a 2. 
Now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light on the analyzer, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. Okay, now that we know that the money is dropping through into the cash box, this telephone is ringing in on a ring cycle. It's dialing out. It has transmit and receive. We want to go ahead and push this button on the switch box down here. And that gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation. And we'll call it time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, we can hang up and give you some dial tone. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. We'll hang up. We'll call one other number. We don't need anything from there, but we'll go ahead and call it. And we'll go ahead and hang up because we do not need anything from there. Give you some dial tone. We'll turn off the amplifier. We'll hang the unit up. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Fred and he can enjoy this telephone. It's a very cool three slot payphone and I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's installed. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.